champion, Dino Benvenuti. Bruno Amadusi, his manager with his back toward us, will be in his corner, of course. And we go over. Now to the defending champion. The ring instructions have already been given. Carlos Monzon is on the left. He is an angular young man. He weighed in today at 159. Nino at 159 and three quarters. The referee in this bout will be an Argentinian, Victor Avendano. There's a story involved in that that when time permits, I'll get to. It's of some interest. One of the judges, the splendid American referee, Arthur McCanty who did such a fine job in the recent Ali Frazier heavyweight title bout. The other judge from Italy, Domenico Carabellisi. We've got the bell, the start of round one, Nino in the gold trunks, and Manzone in the aqua or perhaps blue trunks. Nino will seek to stay at half distance, as he is now, to position himself for punching and yet to be far enough away not to be hurt by the Monzone overhand right that undid him in the last bout. He will keep going to the left jab as his lead. His left hook, as you've seen in the Rodriguez knockout earlier, is a compelling punch, his right not to be overlooked. Monzone's best punch, the straight overhand right. However, he does have an adequate jab, perhaps a pretty good one, the left hook only perish, but he is a clean, living, dedicated athlete. Very much ready for this fight. Very much, I quite frankly think, more confident going into it than Nino. Nino, you'll notice, has eschewed the long hair. He's back to a butch haircut. See the time, the right hand, bottom corner of your screen. Coming up to a minute and a half into round one. Victor Avendano, the Argentinian referee. Arthur McCanny came over here thinking he was to be the referee. Monzone demanded an Argentinian referee. They put Mercani's name in a hat together with the Argentinians. And Arthur McCanny has asked me to tell the people in America that it was a fair draw. The Argentinian's name was pulled out of the hat. In the lower right-hand corner is the clock running per round. I am told that the figures are not too distinguishable upon the American sets. We will keep you posted. With two minutes and 15 seconds coming up into round one. Again, however, you see there an admonition from the Argentinian referee to Nino Benvenuti. So time was suspended during those few seconds. Or was not, not in this fight. There was no suspension of time. This is the exception to the normal European rule. Now you're looking at our clock in New York, our own clock, so the figures are visible in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. We near the end of round one. We'll be back in a moment. We're back in the second round. The clock already running, as you can see. Some mix-up on the time between rounds. Nino Benvenuti in the gold trunks and Carlos Monzon in the aqua trunks. Benvenuti, seemingly the winner of the first round, though cautioned there by the referee, Victor Abandono, at one point in the round. But Nino seemingly winning a close round through the use of his left jab. The thing to remember about Nino is, second time around, he usually does oh so much better. Doyle Baird had a draw with him. Nino quickly avenged it. Griffith uh, won the second fight of three from him. Nino avenged that. And Bethea beat him in Australia, and you saw earlier on the show how Nino did away with Bethea in the eighth round in Umag, Yugoslavia. He's a different fighter, second time around, and that's what we must watch for.
People were perhaps misled by Nino going against those ropes. He was not staggered. Now Nino is complaining to the referee. And incidentally, the suspicion at ringside is they started the second round at the warning bell, which is why we lost 10 seconds of it. Well, shouldn't be surprised. Once did a fight between Kendall and Foster in Springfield, Massachusetts, where the first round went three minutes and 32 seconds. Well, they're complaining again. Nino again this time. He had been admonished in the first round. With these admonitions, one is always reminded of amateur boxing, in particular, the Olympic boxing events. to tell whether or not the referee Abandano as we stay with the fighters between rounds call that a knockdown it was quite apparently a slip and yet yet he seemed to have called it a knockdown against Benvenuti based upon him on zone right I want to, to our turn to Judge Arthur McCanny who says yes officially a knockdown thank you very much Arthur now, I want to go back to Bill Fleming in New York for a slow-mo analysis of what has now been called officially a knockdown. All right, thank you very much, uh, Howard. Because of technical problems, we do our slow motion from New York, and you can see the uh, blow that was followed up by that overhand right, but really it was a left uppercut to the chest that staggered Ben Venuti, and then the overhand right, and I thought, actually, the, the uh, two blows together were a little more... Uh, let's say, devastating than appeared. We're back at ringside. The start of round three. Officially, Benvenuti knocked down by a zone right in the second round. Though to the crowd here, there was no excitement and one had to wonder about it. That was a good right, just landed by zone.
c'è qualcosa di me dentro te.